Okay, I get it. Some people really have a problem with my game being similar to Hollow Knight, but I already made that video. So today I don't want to go into depth about this topic, but I do agree that especially the placeholder HUD I used for Aztec until now was pretty similar, and I wanted to change that for a long time. It was only placeholder after all. In the last week I finally worked on the new UI and I'm pretty satisfied with the results. I know there's another boss fight I need to work on, but since I just finished a boss and already made a video about it, I wanted to make some smaller changes first. The old UI wasn't the first iteration either to be fair, but let's not talk about it. You see, game dev really isn't a sprint, but rather a marathon. You can't do all at once, so some stuff just gets moved to the backlog. And I really wanted to get that shiny Phoebus and Shining Pearl, which, well, also took me a while. Am I right, gamers? So let's look at the old UI first. I really kept it simple, since I knew from the start that I wouldn't use it for the final product. So I just placed all of the important elements in the top left corner of the screen and added this shape to make it somewhat appealing. I then started making devlogs and waited for the angry comments to roll in until I started working on the new HUD. I previously talked about the creation of the pause menu including the inventory screen and the style of these UI elements were my inspiration for the redesign. I really like the looks of these pieces of cloth and ropes and it also fits the theme and kinda makes sense looking at the player character. What do you think? I might change it in the future again but I probably won't since I'm really happy with the current looks. Another thing people criticized for looking like Hollow Knight was the potion. While I don't really agree with that criticism, I wasn't quite happy with the visuals either. They were just too simple in my opinion and while I always try to be as efficient as possible, which is also why I used this kind of art style in the first place, for this one I made it a little too easy to be honest. That's why I created this more three-dimensional bottle and animated the liquid inside of it to make it less static. To make sure that it fits the theme of the HUD I created, I drew a rope that holds the potion. Last but not least, I needed to change the dialog boxes. I wanted to continue the theme I was going for with the HUD, so I chose the same colors for the frame and added some cloth in the corners. The one thing I didn't change yet is the icon that pops up when you're able to interact with objects or talk to NPCs, but I probably will do that too. That shouldn't be much of an effort. So that's it for the changes I've made to the user interface. Let's compare some older screenshots to new ones. I do think that the new designs give the aesthetics much more of an identity, don't you think so? Okay, there's more stuff I've worked on. It's not about UI, but also art related. Yeah, I really was in the mood to draw some stuff I guess, but it's also a thing I wanted to rework for quite some time. The attack animations of the player. While one thing I didn't like about them was the dirty outlines and coloring, I really learned some stuff looking back. I also wasn't too happy with the not that dynamic motion of the weapon. That's why I added some so-called smear frames that give it much more of an impact. It's one of the principles of animation I just recently came to appreciate and played around with. Also, for some reason the animations didn't always play until the end before, so I fixed that too. Controlling the character feels a lot better now in my opinion. Alright, there's one last thing. It's about the boss fight I've talked about in the last devlog, so spoiler alert I guess? One comment said that there isn't enough variety in the fight, and looking back I can totally see that. That's why I've added a third attack to the general of nature. In the second phase of the boss you will be able to summon two projectiles at once that chase you down. It's a quite simple addition, but it really spices things up. Okay, that's it for now. I will probably start working on the next boss for the next devlog, so it might take a while. Creating bosses is a really time consuming process, I hope you understand that. Until then, feel free to join my discord where you can play the official Astic demo. I put the links in the description as always. So see ya! And don't forget to leave your wife, subscribe to Chanel and hit that bell.